Hey guys and welcome to the farm. As you know, we have a ton of chicks here. Well, had a ton of chicks. We had about 30, now we have about eight plus eight more that's joining. And we've been through the gamut of chicken water. So we wanted to share the best and the worst waters that you can get for your chickens. And we have links to all of them in the description below. The first option is the, what you consider normal chicken waters that you'd get at your local tractor supply or feed store. These are great because they are cheap and kind of effective. So they're really good to get you started. But after you get started in raising chickens, I would suggest other things. And the reason is, is because they get dirty very quickly because they're getting shavings in them, they're pooping in them, and so you have to clean them and refill them constantly. Also, when they're about three to four weeks old, they get big enough where you have to refill them multiple times a day. So that's why I would classify this as the worst kind of waterer. Hey guys, real quick, if you guys are enjoying this content, please consider clicking on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified when all of our videos do come out each and every week. And if you guys have chickens, let us know in the comments which breeds you guys have and why you like them. The second option of uh, waters that I'm gonna suggest today is the nipple water. You can get these in many forms and functions from just the actual nipple water itself that you can attach to buckets or even PVC lines, or you can get a bucket that already has this nipple water built into it. These are really nice because A, they're super cheap, uh, but B, they can uh, basically hold a ton of water either in the bucket or the water supply system, so you only have to refill it once every so often. It's also nice because it's always gonna provide fresh and clean water uh, to your chickens. And the only two downsides uh, to these, and oh, they're minor, I'll give you that much, is that uh, they are basically impossible for ducks or geese to use. Now I've seen that ducks and geese use these here on our farm, but they're really hard for them to get their whole beak wet and get water throughout their whole beak to wash out their bills. So you really need something different if you have ducks or geese. The other downside of these is they can be difficult to clean because you have to kind of get in them and sometimes you can't even take them apart, so you just have to spray them out real good and hope for the best. The third type of waters that you can get for your chickens is a cup water. There's multiple different kinds and styles of these, but in general, they're gonna have some sort of cup that fills with water that your chickens can drink from. This is my second favorite option, and that's because they're very versatile. You can not only put them up on a bucket like we do with the nipple waters, but you can also put them into a PVC line and connect it to like a 120 gallon tank like we had in Phoenix. They're also really nice because your ducks and your geese can drink from them and clean out their bills pretty well. For us, we don't use these outside anymore, although we started with them uh, because of the ducks and the geese, but we do still use them if we're raising ducklings or goslings inside because they can fit their whole beak inside of these small cup waterers. Now the only downside, and it's even smaller downside than the rest of them, is that they do need cleaning. Now thankfully a lot of these cup waters you can take off of the either PVC or uh, off of the bucket without pulling off the whole mechanism, and so you can clean them really easily, whether you take them inside or just rinse them off outside. Uh, so that's really just a minor downfall. Altogether, they're a really good option for you if uh, you don't have the final and best option. Hey guys, wanted to take a moment and talk about Audible. They're a huge part of our lives and a huge part of our channel. And they have a special offer just for you guys. If you sign up for their Premium Plus membership, you get your first month free, and in that you get a free audiobook of your choosing that you can keep forever, whether you keep the plan or not. Just go to audibletrial.com slash LaceyFamilyFarm, and the link is below in the descriptions to try it out. The book that I'm gonna recommend this week is Atomic Habits by James Clear. It talks about how you can make small changes and create small habits in your life to make huge changes down the road. It has been game changing for how I think about how I'm gonna do things in the new year especially, and how I'm gonna take small changes in my life and make big things happen this whole year. So I recommend checking that out and check out the link below to get your free book of your choosing for free this month when you sign up for their Premium Plus membership. Fourth and finally, while we use those other options for various stages like the nip waters or the cup waters for our chicks, ducklings, and goslings, we actually use a goat waterer for our chickens, ducks, and geese. And that's because it's got a huge basin for a lot of water. So not only can the chickens drink from it, but so can the ducks and our goose. Speaking of our goose. Clarence. So these are really nice as well because they don't require us to fill them at all. They actually hook up to a hose connection so they're connected to water all the time and they have a float switch inside that refills when they get low. So it's very automated and we don't have to do a thing to make sure they have fresh water. Now the only downside to this is, as you can tell, 
it gets really dirty. But it's really easy to clean out. All we do is take our hose, which is right next to us right here, and spray it out, you know, once every few days. And that's all you really have to do, and it's really simple. The other small downside is they can be expensive. They are about 20 or $30 for each one. But we don't have to replace them, and they work forever. All you have to do is install them on a fence. We've put a, a couple two by fours into the ground and some cement so it stays there, and then you can mount the water to that. It's really simple. So if you guys are already chicken owners and looking to upgrade your system, or are you looking to get chickens and trying to figure out how you're gonna do it, make sure to check out the links below for all the products that we talked about today so we can hopefully help you get your chickens the best clean, fresh water available. So if this was interesting to you, make sure to check out next week's video. It's all about composting and how we take some of that chicken manure and compost it, especially with the new laws here in California that require you to have it. And uh, we'll show you how easy it is and really demystify the whole process.